Hello YouTube friends. I'm back. I've been away for a couple of weeks and uh, I posted those couple of videos. One was about my curtains in my workroom and the other one about the window and they're questions I get asked a lot and so I hope you enjoyed revisiting those. Uh, I've been busy um, while um, you've been watching those videos and I want to talk to you a little bit about what that busy's been about. <laughs> you go and find somewhere to sleep. But first of all, I've got an empty design board behind me. That will never do. We can't have an empty design board. And that's because uh, we have been up to see Kath at the Long Arm Quilters. So everything that's ready to quilt has gone up to Scotland. And we'll be showing you that video in a couple of weeks time. Anna's looking after that one and she's uh, editing that one now. And uh, so I think you'll, we'll be going on the Lime Green bus up to Scotland very soon. But the board's empty, that won't do. So what I'm doing, uh, I'm going to explain to you one of the things that I'm doing. I wonder if you remember those yellow chairs that I made, yellowy greeny chairs that I made a couple of years ago. Well, I like them, I like them a lot. And so I bought a couple more. And uh, I've been outside in the pavilion, doing, putting the primer coat on. I'm going to put the um, the finished coat on, but I'm going to keep that one a secret. You never know, we might get into it this video, but they're not going to be that yellowy, um, acid yellow colour that I painted the other ones. But if you remember the other ones, it's one's just here. So, wait. so this is the chair I'm talking about, and I made these covers for them, and I'm making covers for the new, whatever colour they're going to be, chairs. So over my shoulder here, I've picked out all the reds and pinks and purples of all the little K facet fabrics that I've got. Um, it's a bit orangey, that one, uh, and then a, a paley pink one. And I'm picking all of those out and I'm making, uh, you can maybe just see it here, I'm just laying out the cushion cover, the like the hanging thing on the back of the cushion and the, the cushion pad as well. So I'm going to be stitching those together uh, when I have time. These chairs aren't urgent. I don't need them in a hurry. But let me tell you about some of the things I've been doing while I've been away. I haven't been, you know, lots of people have said, oh, I hope you're having a good break. It's not been a break. I've been very, very busy doing all sorts of things. And I'll tell you about some of them. Uh, I took the chance to go and visit my son and his wife who live in London. Uh, I, I probably chose the hottest weekend of the year to get the train <laughs> and uh, I went to visit them in their new home which I've never seen and so it was really really lovely to go and, and visit them. I had a great time and I went to my favourite clothes shop while I was there, uh, Gudrun, uh, where I get, um, you know, now and then I treat myself to one of the Gudrun um, uh, pieces of clothing and there's that dress that I, I bought and wore it for the rest of the weekend. But uh, it was really lovely to wear on, a, on the, that hot weekend. Uh, we had a great time and so I'm going to show you some of the things that we did now. This is Broadway Market near where my son and his wife live. A uh, really amazing place. I chose this falafel stall uh, as my lunch for the day. Uh, it looks like a pretty enormous sandwich, doesn't it? But I got help with it. <laughs> my kids helped me. It was absolutely delicious. All these different vegetables and sauces and... Yeah, he made a good job. And then... Can you imagine I managed to eat this without spilling a bit of it down my beautiful new dress? Probably not. <laughs> this was Sunday morning and this is a very beautiful little place near where my kids live. And this, the whole weekend wasn't about food, but this was the little bakery that was open where we had our breakfast. Looking at those clips, it looks like all we did was eat. It wasn't all we did, I promise you. Some of the other things I've been doing, I've been seeing quite a bit of Agnes, my granddaughter, who will be two in October. So when I bought those chairs from um, Ikea, uh, they came in a huge box. So I um, looked at the box and thought, that's going to make something fun for Agnes to play in. So I turned it into a boat and she came at the weekend and we had a lovely time sitting in the boat. She insisted that grandma get in the boat as well. 
<laughs> uh, which was quite a stretch for me because I'm not quite as agile uh, as this little girl is. So it was lovely. We sat in the boat, we read some books and uh, with the soft toys and we had a really, really great time. Agnes loves to come and feed the hens and hang out with Grandma. I feel very, very lucky indeed. She's brilliant. So during this downtime, you may have noticed that the shop's been closed and Anna and I are working, Anna's my daughter-in-law and she works with me uh, here now at the last homely house, helping with the shipping and some of the editing and she's an absolute godsend. I couldn't manage quite uh, as well as I do without Anna now. Uh, and so we closed the shop after the sale. Thank you for everybody who bought anything from the sale. That was really great and um, pretty much cleaned us out. So we've been waiting for some reprinting and packing all of that. And um, we've also got a couple of new products that are coming into the shop. I think we'll be talking about that next week, but here on the table um, are all the bits and pieces that Anna and I are putting together for that shop update. We'll tell you about it next week. Uh, it's been great fun though, and I really enjoy working with Anna. And you. I enjoy working with you as well. Oh, hello. It's all Cat City around here now. This one's Cat Rita. And then lovely Norma. And Sadie, who's my outdoorsy cat, she'd be out there somewhere. It's been very wet. And so I, pr I primed all those pieces of the chairs outside and then it, the, there was a massive thunderstorm and I had to bring them all inside. So I'll probably finish the uh, top coat of that one uh, inside. I'll make, make sure I have lots of newspaper because I'm the messiest painter in the world. So it's the next day now and I've painted, I primed all the chair pieces and I put the first coat of paint on and uh, I'm going to put, I'm going to sand them down and put a second coat. But seriously, is anybody surprised? Are you surprised? I don't think you are, are you? pink chairs <laughs> in kit form that will all go together like the yellow chairs and the piece on the board then is it's 64 64 yeah of these little inch squares that are all going to go together to make the same thing as this that's on the yellow chair so that's the panel that goes on the back of the chair and it's got bigger squares on the back and I could do it on the machine quite easily but I like English paper piecing and I like the slow rhythm of piecing them together so um, I'm going to do it that way and I'll make the seat as well and I'll show you them all when they're all constructed and put together but uh, I'm going to have some pink chairs. And I think it was because I was looking at the table and years ago I painted the table legs pink and greeny yellow. I thought, well, perhaps we need some pink chairs to go with it. A few days ago, I was sitting here at the computer uh, answering some comments um, and a lot of you ask me sometimes when you don't see Norma in a video, you say, is Norma all right? This is Norma. She's sitting right there on the computer, stopping me from getting to the Q, the W, the A, the Z, and the caps lock and all those other keys that are right underneath her there while I'm trying to do some typing. So. You'd think, just move her. Why don't you just move her, Kate? And she's so comfortable and so loving. So I think what I decided to do in the end was um, just come back to it a bit later on. Pressing, you're pressing a button. Thank you, darling. Don't press that button. OK. 
Okay. Uh, okay, we'll get rid of that. I need the W. I need the W, Norma. Shall I do this later? I'll tell you what, I'll do this later. Oh, there's the W. <laughs> Looks like we've got the caps lock on now. I'll do this later. I'll do this later. You're very comfortable, aren't you? Yeah. I'll do this later.